Hey, g'day guys, welcome back to episode three of our camper build, square drop camper. As in last episode, we got the camper sanded and primed, and this is all we're really doing on this for now, because we need to work on the trailer. So the old camper is here, and it has seen some pretty rough experiences, because it's all yeah, sort of all mangled. So we're going to be pretty much pulling this entire square section off. You get it back to a bare trailer, cut the guards off because I'm getting a new axle. But it's, it's going to be a lot of cutting because there's a lot to do. So that's what we're doing for this episode. Pretty much getting the trailer prepped and ready to go for the cabin to go onto it. Let's start. That's how you do it. Everything is um, really glued in, in, into place. So I think the only option is to charge this thing. <laughs> Take two. You gotta get a bigger run up. Stretch. This is going to be um, take three when I'm trying to move this wall. Not too sure how I'm going to do this. All right, so we've got the camper dismantled, well, the cabin part of it, the old one. Just need to go around and cut off all this frame steel and these guards. And so I just get left with this part of the trailer left. And then I'm extending it, new axle, longer. And then the cabin will be able to, or oh, then the new camper will be able to go on. So now I need to grind off all these poles and get this ready. I think I've cut all the welds, both guards are off, I think it's ready to be pushed straight off. Oh yeah, that'll go, sweet. So we just picked up our steel and the new axle and this is the frame 50 by 50 SHS 2mm thick so this is 2.4 and the in inside ones are 1400 and there's five of them two of the 2.4s so I'm going to go around with the grinder and grind off all the all around the edges so have a nice clean welding areas and then I'll start tacking it together 
and then align it and then I'll go around and fully weld it all together. Right, so I've just tacked all four edges just to keep it all together now. Now I need to figure out where to put these crossbars. One of them has to go sort of in line where the seam is so it has a nice sturdy bottom to sit on. Which I'm pretty sure that's 1200 from the back to the center line. So I need to get the seam on the camper directly in the middle of one of these. That should be doable. So right there, 1200 right in the middle. So the seam up underneath will sit straight across here. Right at 1200. Same on both sides. So I'm just going to tack these on quickly and then I can work out where these two go Should be good So these three are done, the last one, this one, then we'll flip her over and then weld the bottoms. Alright, well, the frame's all welded up. So, got uh, me mate Toby here. He's gonna help me carry it onto the trailer, which is sitting just here. And see how it sits and lines up. So, we've got the frame just sitting on the trailer. We took off the wheel, so it actually sits flush on the trailer frame. Now, we're just measuring out where it sits. The last last thing you sort of want is um the trailer crab crawling down the road. So I'm gonna make sure we do this properly. I just welded on the the front hanger on both sides. Now I need to do 
the slipper hanger on the back, then cut off all the old ones, and then go around, grind off all the welds. Alright, so the springs are on. Done the spring hangers, just put the axle on, see how it sits. See how this side. Let's just use 3mm 50 by 50 RHS for the slipper holder, which works perfect, fits absolutely perfect. Alright, the axle is on. These um, shackles are probably the hardest things I've had on this build yet. They just take so damn long. So I'm just going to put some grease on this, this bearing sleeve. I'll do this both sides. I'll get the bearings on, I'll re-grease the bearings, and I'll get the hubs on, and then I'll tighten the nuts up, and then I'll get the two tires on, tighten them up, and go from there. Alright, you got both wheels on. You know you've done your bearings well is when there is no movement at all, but they spin so well. The trailer is now all painted. Looks like a half decent trailer now. What I've been painted it with is just this black kill rust enamel, epoxy enamel. And they'll protect it from any rust and whatnots. The so next thing is to try and get this cabin on there, which is going to be a little bit difficult. And lift. I'm trying not to hit you guys with that wet paint. A bit over it. The camper is on the new trailer. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. There's not really much more we can do now. I think on the next episode we'll be um, putting some guards on and that way we'll be knowing where to put the windows and the doors. So it'll match up a lot better. But next episode, there'll be a lot more done. And hopefully we have the windows and doors in. So that's what we're doing next. And then we'll be doing a lot more framing inside, prep work, a lot more stuff. A bit of a long episode this one, but there's a lot to cover. So see you guys on the next one.